It is right now 6.54 on your Friday morning time to get you ready to have the door with these top headlines of this Friday. Well, a judge could decide today whether to grant a mistrial on the capital murder case of a teen charged with killing his family. He'll meet with lawyers from both sides of Mason Sis case around 8 o'clock this morning. Sis lawyers filed motions yesterday asking for that mistrial so they can review what could be new evidence from Sis stepmother's phone. Well, a local church is helping moms beat high prices and giving them a way to relax at the same time. Trinity United Methodist Church on Airport Road hosting a mom's march starting at 8 o'clock this morning, last through tomorrow. And of course, it's a chance for you to shop for your children without kids being with you. Well, this weekend, North Alabama leaders going over the edge, you might say, to raise money for children in foster care. They're raising money for the Kids to Love Foundation today and tomorrow. Several community leaders as part of this event will rappel down the side of Regents Bank Building. All of this starts at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Well, happening today, motorcycle riders from across the South coming to North Alabama to celebrate Native American heritage. It's the 29th annual Trail of Tears commemorative ride. Starts at uh, in Waterloo today and lasts through tomorrow. There are several events happening in Waterloo and Bridgeport today and tomorrow to celebrate that event. Workers will close a part of Old Big Cove Road around 8.30 this morning so utility workers can make some improvements in that area. They hope to have that area, though, reopen by 12.30 this afternoon. Just be careful if you must drive again along Old Big Cove Road. Huntsville Police shutting down part of Low Avenue starting at 8 o'clock this morning. This is the area near Gallatin Street in downtown Huntsville. That area will be closed until Monday while workers get ready to break ground on a new federal courthouse on Gallatin Street. We made it to Friday, folks. Woo, Thank hallelujah. goodness. Sunshine once again. We're in the mid 60s this morning, warming up pretty quickly throughout the day. 88 is that forecast high. And we continue our slow but steady warm up this weekend. 89 tomorrow, 90 on Sunday. Yes, the first day of fall is officially Thursday, but it will not feel that way. 93 Tuesday, 94 Wednesday. We may have to keep bumping up those forecast highs. We'll keep a close eye on that, but uh, summer is not going away yet. Fall will be here soon enough. We're looking forward to Fall will be here soon enough. Well, we want to thank you so much for joining us on this Friday morning. Remember, Good Morning America is up next, but Carson and I are back every 30 minutes every with local minutes. news and weather updates for you. Our first one of those coming up for you at 723. 723. Remind folks, we are stomping out hunger this weekend. Yes. Come join us at Orion Amphitheater tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and bring some food to donate to charities who help people in need.